guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Snake Armor He-Man vs. Battle Armor King Hiss 2-Pack. Essentially what that means is 2000X variations of these two characters. Awesome. Let's check these figures out. As you can see, they come in similar window box packaging that we've seen for some of our other Army Builder 2-Packs in the past. When you flip that box around to the back side, we're treated to a look at a few of the other Classics figures, as well as two brand new bios for Snake Armor He-Man and Battle Armor King Hiss. So what I find so extraordinary about this particular two-pack is we're getting something that we thought we never would in this line. We were always told that we wouldn't see a lot of 2000X inspiration, specifically in the head designs on a lot of these characters. We are always told that it might be possible to see a Snake Armor He-Man or maybe even this particular outfit on King Hiss, but we are always told that their head sculpts, particularly on He-Man, would have to be the same ones from the regular figures. Well, Mattel finally decided to give us a 2000X inspired He-Man head as well as a 2000X inspired King Hiss. So let's take a look at each of these figures. We're going to go ahead and start things off by looking at King Hiss here. Now, personal opinion, I always preferred the vintage King Hiss, and I was happy that that's the version that we got in Classics first. However, I am pretty stunned by how good this 2000X version of King Hiss looks in the Classics line. Now, his design in the animated series was much more of an anime influence like a lot of the characters were. So he was really thin and kind of had a lot of angles going on in his design. And even though these classics figures are a lot more bulky than the characters appeared in that cartoon, somehow the horsemen managed to really capture that design of King Hiss and bring him to life in the classics line. That head sculpt is awesome. You can see he's got that longer face with that really kind of diagonal look to his jaw there. He's got this pale green skin with these glowing red eyes and has this awesome kind of golden crown sitting on top of his head. That has a very Egyptian look to it. The armor that he's wearing is really cleverly done because it's over the classics male buck, but just the way it's cut and the way it sits over his body, it definitely gives him that more angular design that we saw in the cartoon series. And there's a lot of really great detail going on here from the little snake emblem that's right there on his chest to the awesome kind of copper and gold wrist bracers, the belt with the snake head on it with that red kind of uh, sash hanging down in the front and the scaly tunic he's wearing. And he's even got on on those sandals with those long bare toes with the little nails sticking off the ends of them. This is an awesome looking figure and there are some really great paint details that help to bring out all of those beautiful sculpted details. The armor is kind of a pale green but it's got a nice black wash on there. Then that gold and the copper have a nice metallic shine to it and just look really nice kind of laying on top of each other. All right, so let's go ahead and flip over to He-Man real quick because this is another incredibly impressive figure. So you might remember in the 2000X cartoon, the snake armor is the armor that He-Man switched to on a regular basis during the season where the Snake Men were the main foes. And I always really liked this armor design and I think many of the fans always did as well. This is one that fans have wanted to see brought to the Classics line for some time and I must say that Mattel and the Horsemen really did it justice. Look at all of the sculpted details on this thing. On top of that, look at all the paint deco. This is one of the most decorated figures I think we've seen in the Classics line. He's got a really great design on that armor that kind of melds together his classic uh, armor piece that he wears on the regular He-Man with this great kind of armor look that comes up over his right shoulder there. It mixes some really nice light silvers as well as some darker gunmetal silvers there with a lot of really great little sculpted details like rivets and straps and buckles and all these different textures all over the armor. You've got this really great metallic gold and this bright shiny red that's used in many places all over the armor like the He-Man cross on his chest, the anti-Snake Men logo right there on his shoulder, and even some of the cool little designs seen on the little wrist bracers there. 
and check out that cool belt sash that he's wearing. It's got that same kind of bright red and gold anti snake men logo right there on the buckle and has this really nice kind of flat green and almost like a brownish red color hanging on all of the sashes there. The right leg is armored up while the left leg is left bare and he's got some really cool armored uh, shin caps there covering up some really awesome green boots. This guy is just phenomenal looking, like no doubt about it. The sculpt, the paintwork are all top notch on this figure. And then that brings us to the head sculpt. This is really special because this is our first He-Man head in this line that has the shorter kind of flared hair that we saw in the 2000X toy line and cartoon series. And it is a really well done He-Man face sculpt. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Snake Armor He-Man and 2000X style King Hiss. We'll go ahead and start with He-Man. So I'll move Hiss out of the way here, and we will talk about the articulation. Uh, as you can see, he does have much larger armor, especially up on the shoulder, than we typically see on a lot of the Classics figures. Um, so let me show you how all this works. Head, of course, articulates exactly as we expect it, left and right. A little bit of up and down movement there. Ball joints at the shoulders, and what's nice is that the shoulder pad up here is flexible, so you can still get a pretty good range of motion with the arm. Um, it does kind of uh, get a little tough up at the top just because of the sculpt work on the top of the shoulder. It kind of rubs a little bit, but not too bad. Um, you can see it's a little tight, but you can still get a good range of motion out of it, so this doesn't hinder it at all. Still get the swivel at the bicep. Still got your standard elbow joint. Uh, even though this whole piece right here is part of the wrist sculpt, it doesn't get in the way at all, and you can still swivel the wrist right there. Now, the armor that he's wearing is all attached to the buck, so it's not removable on this figure. Uh, it does appear to be a separate piece, but it's glued in place. Um, doesn't hinder the articulation though, still got the ab crunch, still got the waist swivel. You'll notice the lower portion of the torso is just painted silver, um, but it looks really nice. It matches very well with what we've got here. The lower tunic portion is made of that softer, flexible plastic. The legs can go outwards very nicely still. They can go forwards very nicely. Um, you still got the swivels at the upper thighs. You got the standard knee joint. Um, there is no swivel at the top of the boots because of the way that they're designed. But then you do have really nice ankle articulation there, uh, which is nice and tight and no pin showing there. So very, very cool on He-Man. Um, here's one of the other neat things. Well, a couple other things. I mean, you got this nice little sword holder, which is always very nice for the sword. Um, but he also also comes with this little accessory which is his little uh, snake grabber or the little claw thing um, to use when he's fighting the snake men there's just a little peg hole right there in the front of the gauntlet on his right arm and there's a little peg on the end of this this just slides right into place it's a nice really tight really snug fit so it holds on there very nicely when you get it in and that way you can pose them with the claw out if you want to which is a very very nice touch all right, so that's going to bring us over to King Hiss. Uh, again, the actual buck itself is very basic. Uh, the head does get hindered a little bit by the little uh, crown thing that he's wearing, his little Egyptian-type headdress. Um, it does get in the way just a little bit, but it is a little softer, so it's not too gummy, but it's soft enough where you can still rotate the head left and right. You can still get up and down movement. You got the same kind of ball joints at the shoulders, forwards and backwards, swivels at the bicep, standard joint at the elbow, Swivel at the wrists, ab crunch, waist swivel. You got a nice kind of softer loaning cloth that he's wearing, so the legs can still go outwards pretty good. You can still move them forwards pretty good. You got the swivels, knee joints, um, swivels at the boot on this guy, and you do have really nice uh, tight ankles on this guy as well on these awesome new feet there. So that's all a new piece, and it works very, very well. They're actually big feet too, so he stands really well. It's got a really nice base going on there. Um, so very, very cool. Um, he does have removable armor, and it comes off just like we've seen in the past in a lot of other figures. You can just kind of pop it off the pegs. Um, and I already mentioned it, but I want to point it out again. I like the way it's cut. You can see that the lower portion of his torso is still showing, um, but it's the way that they cut the armor to kind of give him that more angular look and it works really well it's very very cool so one of the other things we got to show you with king hiss is this um this two pack does not come with a snake form for king hiss there was one originally shown with him which is very very cool um this is the snake form from the original release of king hiss the one that we were going to get with this two-pack had a lot more snakes on it. It looked a lot more like uh, he looked in the 2000X cartoon series. And Mattel had to cut it because there's already so much going on with these figures. They couldn't cost it in. But promise us that we're going to get it at some point down the road. But it is worth noting that if you've got this piece, 
you can still use it with this King Hiss. He functions just like the other King Hiss, where he comes apart at the torso. It's the exact same peg as the other King Hiss. So if you want to, you can pop this part on there, and you can display this King Hiss just like this. Which also means when the other version comes out down the road, we'll be able to use that version with the vintage style King Hiss if we want to do so. So it's definitely good to know that King Hiss can utilize that past release of the snake form if that's the way you want to display the figure. It doesn't look as cool as the one that we're going to be getting eventually, but I am glad that Mattel made it so that we can swap between the two. That way, if you do want to put that more snake-like form with all the extra heads on it on the vintage style King Hiss, you'll be able to do that when we get that version. All right, so each of these guys do come with a few accessories. He-Man, of course, like I showed you, does come with that awesome little snake claw that clips right there into his wrist bracer. It holds nice and firm and has a beautiful metallic gold paint deco that matches up with the gold scene on his armor. And then, of course, he would not be complete without that 2000X mechanical style power sword. Now, we have seen this particular sculpt in the line a few times, but the paint deco is still a little bit different than the version we got with King Gray Skull and the version we got in the weapons pack previously. It's slightly different paint deco, um, but that way it gives you a few options if you've already got those swords on which one you want to display with He-Man. And he can hold the sword nicely in either hand, and he also has a place to store the sword on his back, which is a huge plus. King Hiss's only accessory, of course, is his snake staff. It's very familiar to what we've seen with all the other snake staffs, but this one is colored with a tan and dark brown color scheme, unlike the uh, all green one that came with the previous version of King Hiss. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at Snake Armor He-Man standing alongside the 2000X figure of Snake Armor He-Man just so you can see the similarities and differences between the two. And I also want to go ahead and stand the Snake Armor He-Man alongside two of the other uh, regular versions of He-Man in the line, being the Standard He-Man and the New Adventures He-Man. Because these are the three He-Man figures that come from the three different main eras of the property, and that way you can see the difference between the face sculpts on them. And here's King Hiss alongside his 2000X action figure. That way you can see the difference between the two, and you can really see how this new Classics one has a much more accurate animated look to his face than the 2000X figure did. And just so you can see the huge difference, here he is alongside that vintage style King Hiss we got way back towards the beginning of the Classics line. It's quite a big difference between these two designs. All right. So, this is where we can really start having some fun, guys. Because now that we've got these in the line, we can play mix and match with a lot of the parts to create some of those scenes we've really been wanting to create using these particular variants. For instance, we can put that snake ring that came with the other King Hiss with this version of King Hiss. It makes way more sense since this is how he looked in that cartoon series. So that looks awesome. Of course, we can also put King Hiss alongside the other snake men if this is the version of King Hiss that you prefer to display with them. Then there's He-Man. Boy, can we have some fun with He-Man. You can now pair him up with some of those other 2000X variants in the line, such as your Man at Arms figure that we've been able to make finally. Or, here's where we get really fun. You can actually now create the standardized version of the 2000X He-Man with just a little bit of part swapping. We'll go and start with this. Like, if you take the regular He-Man buck, I actually took the armor right off my 2002 He-Man action figure, put it on there, and boom, we've got ourselves a 2000X style He-Man. But here's one that's even easier and probably looks a little bit better. If you pop off the King Grayskull head and just pop this new He-Man head right on there, boom, instant 2000X style He-Man. As long as you don't mind the little nubs on the back of the armor that would plug into King Grayskull's cape, this is an awesome looking action figure and another way you can display this on your shelf. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the new Battle Armor King Hiss versus Snake Armor He-Man 2-Pack. I am fully aware that I gushed a lot in this review, but I couldn't help it. This is one of those figures that comes out in this line that really gets me to geek out because there are so many fun features with this, especially with all the part swapping we can do, but also just the fact that these are two very well-done action figures with great sculpts and great paintwork. 
Heck, I've never even been a big fan of the 2000X version of King Hiss, but this figure here totally changed my mind on that. It's awesome looking. I am very happy that we finally were able to get both of these versions into the line. And if these figures right here are a sign of the quality of figure we're gonna get in this so-called last year of classics, then I cannot wait to see what else is in store. So Snake Armor He-Man versus Battle Armor King Hiss is the quarterly figure and part of the 2015 Club Eternia subscription and should also be available on MattyCollector.com in February. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.